Ave Maria Purissima, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. It's the Feast of St. Titus, he's one of the companions of St. Paul, who St. Paul then made the Bishop of Crete. Uh, he, besides Crete, he also went to Dalmatia uh, and, and preached the gospel there, and died as a very old man at the age of 94, sometime early in the second century. We, of course, have an epistle that St. Paul wrote to Titus. It's only three chapters, it's really quick to read. The three, he, he wrote two epistles to St. Timothy and one to Titus, and those are, since they were bishops, those are kind of St. Paul's teaching on particular problems about bishops and priests. It's certainly not a, a summary of the Catholic teaching in any way, but it has a lot of details in those three short epistles. It's also the feast of St. Dorothy, virgin martyr, She's from Caesarea in Cappadocia, which is part of Turkey nowadays. And uh, early in the fourth century, uh, she's uh, rounded up and then sent to, she lived with two of her sisters who had apostatized, and the deal was they were gonna get her to, to give up the faith as well. And said she converted them, so they both ended up be, being martyred, and she got uh, uh, hauled in on trial. And well, uh, since she wouldn't denounce the faith, she got racked. And, and, and while she's being racked, she had some kind of grace because she's talking about how much joy she's being filled with. So they uh, burnt her with tortures and so forth and then just beat her severely in the face and she still wouldn't give up. So she was sentenced to be beheaded. And as she's getting let off uh, to be beheaded, she's uh, saying, you know, I praise you, Lord, I'm my, my spouse, but I'll see you soon in paradise. And she's walking by and one of the officers of the court, one of the Theophilus, uh, starts joking with her and says, oh, well, why don't you tell, when you get to that paradise, why don't you have your spouse send me some, some apples and roses? And she goes, all right, I will. And uh, they kept going. She kneels down, and she's allowed some time to pray. And this young child comes up to her while she's praying before they behead her, and he, he has this, this uh, bundle wrapped up in a cloth. And she says, take that to Theophilus. Well, she gets beheaded, and this child comes up to Theophilus and said, uh, uh, Dorothy had me send these to you. And he opens it up and it's three, three uh, roses and three apples. And it's, it's February and, uh, and frosty out and all that. And Theophilus is so struck, he says, well, Christ surely is the God. And, uh, and he ends up being martyred too. So it's, that's uh, just a little story about St. Dorothy and St. Theophilus.